everybody and welcome to episode 3 or 4 of Goalie Training at Brickfield Park in Wrexham. Um, yep, so today basically same setup, I need some more equipment um, on my own again because we've got work and it's the middle of afternoon. Um, and so basically I'm just going to walk through and let you know what the plan is for today. So first of all I'm starting with two laps around the pitch, um, just jogs. Um, probably start with stretches actually first, some arm stretches, back stretches, leg stretches, then a couple of laps around the pitch, one without the ball, one with the ball, um, and then take a rest for a few minutes, because the next bit is, I'm going to tell you, I'll turn me, end this one and turn the camera around. I'll start from probably just this side of the line, once I've done my things, sprint, all the way up, there, puzzle, Walking up, sprint, 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 sprint. <sighs> then pick up the ball, dribble, usual, in, out, in, out, and then at the end, and take a shot towards the goal. I need to work on left and right foot. Um, I have to do my toes. With the side and what was it on with the laces this is what we were taught in our uh, development training the other week so we've got to try and do it and my left foot is terrible and i need to stop aiming for people sorry tasha then i've got to do a jog up to here and this is pretty much whatever i fancy doing so i can do three ladders um, i can do a quick feet through it side to side double feet through it I can alternate this every time I come to this section, depends on how many times I want to do it. If I do it about 10 times maybe, the the circuit, um, I can do different things with this. And then basically I'll probably just end up jogging back over here, to this side, to this side, collect the ball, where it may have ended up. And if it hasn't gone the goal, it'll be the usual burpees, sit-ups, push-ups, whatever. Um, Collect the ball, put it back over there, and then start over again. Sprints and etc. etc. The grass is a bit long, so I'm thinking my lads are going to get run over by people. But uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I need a wee, which is the worst time ever. And I've got my boots on, and then my blues, and my COVID tops, I now call it. <laughs> I hasn't actually got COVID. Um, I lent it to one of the girls. Um, who unfortunately came down with Covid um, and I faced it towards me, I haven't got myself a slip, it might be all over. So yeah, I lent it to one of the girls but she'd already contracted Covid, um, so I had to self-isolate, uh, but I had been double jabbed. So part of my job, I had to work with, have to work with young people and adults who are vulnerable, so I had to get the double jab anyway um, to reassure that lot, uh, which we will be doing a video for, I think, at some point because uh, our local Health board have asked Bellevue ladies to do a little video because apparently Rexham's one of the lowest areas to have taken up with the jab. Um, so yeah, they want us to do a 30 second video each about why we got the jab. So yeah, I need to prepare that first. So yeah, enjoy. And I'm, I haven't got myself sick, so no recording of me doing terrible shots. This will literally be it. So enjoy. I might give a thing at the end how I've done, how I feel, whatever. Um, and that's it. Back to normal training tomorrow. Right, bye for now. About half an hour on that. Been on board. Um, I need to tell you more stuff to do. So what I think we're we'll doing next is basically set the cones up in goal and just practice aiming for areas in the goal. Um, because we tried to do a skype between two marks the other day and well I failed with my left and my right foot. So I might do is set up the cones at the corner of the have a look near the corners of the here aim for the corners um, and try and get it to land in between those corner areas and then basically set another couple of corners where I'm aiming towards so my passes is more accurate um, different distances because I can pass okay my left and my right well left has to be quite close um, but I need skills like tackling and I can defend but I'm not very good at going in for the ball um, I get a bit scared I have got bruises on the back of my leg from the other day where one of the girls kicked me in the back of the leg trying to get the ball. 
Um, so yeah, so yeah, I'm changing it up now because it's quiet. I'll probably do another hour here, so about half three. Um, watch four, maybe four o'clock. Depends on the weather because that cloud looks pretty grey. Um, it's not due to rain, but you never know. That'd be a welcome return. And then I'll probably pack up for the day about four ish. Um, so it doesn't get too busy and I don't embarrass myself because currently it's dead and I'd rather train when there's no one here judging me and looking how silly I look or terrible I am. So yeah, pulled muscle in my hamstring again, but you know, I'll get that fixed again on Friday when I do that dodgy booty blast thing again at MV Fitness, which was weird. Yoga moves, but it under my hamstring pull, so yeah, okay. Well that was fun, um, basically got roped into playing football with a lot of kids on the field, um, ended up being one on one with each other, like Wembley or something, then they decided it was three on one because I was too good for them, <laughs> and then we did shots at the penalty which um, I only just missed out on and that was just because they kept giving me yellow cards if we went over the other line, I swear they cheated and changed the rules as we went along. So yep, yeah, they're still over there playing and I'm on my way home. So yeah, it was fun, got to run around and get shown up by three kids on the football field. But I showed them up actually. They actually took the ball off them several times, that was fun. <laughs>